morning, welcome to another video. Today we are talking about five things that I love about the Porsche Cayman. Alright, first thing on that list of five things I love about my car is the cargo space. As you can see, the Cayman has tons of car cargo space. This is the frunk, which obviously I fit in pretty well. And then we've got the entire <laughs> backside. Alright, let's... Uh, but no, to be honest, cargo space is awesome in this car. Uh, cut to the back. And as you can see, my twin brother up front also fits up there, and I fit back here. Cargo space is excellent. And I know it's kind of a boring one, but it is an important one. This car is very practical. Number two on my list is the sound of the Porsche. So one of the big advantages of these Caymans was that they had the flat six, just like all the other 911s of the time. And it's basically the same thing. It's a 3.4 liter versus the 3.6 liter out of the 911, which is famously uh, a great sounding motor because of that howl, that Porsche howl that people speak about. This is no different. It has that same howl, just slightly less volume than some of the others, especially with the standard exhaust. However, I did of course add the Valvetronic Designs full uh, gold exhaust system with headers and now it really screams nicely and I just love the sound and it really emphasizes that howl even more and it has a really unique sound compared to American V8s and Ferrari V12s and everything else. It fits right in between there and a great sound, iconic sound. All right, number three on my list is the oddness of the shape. The Cayman shape is super iconic. It has this long swept back um, and kind of an iconic Porsche front but paired with this kind of bubble top and a couple other really make this um, fender really sticks out. This big hip is really nice. Uh, some people might not like it very much, but that's okay because the idea behind this car is that it still stands out, and that's why I really like it. Is it is it looks unique, it feels unique, um, it still grabs attention, and it's kind of an odd thing, right? So that shape from this, you know, from the A pillar back here is really unique shape, and whether you like it or not. What the truth is, is you notice it on the road, which is what I like. It's super noticeable, it does grab attention, and it feels like a Porsche. So I really like the oddness of its shape. It's a really cool design. All right, number four on my list isn't necessarily a fact about the car, but it also kind of is. I love getting in this car to drive it. And not a lot of other people can say that about their car that they own. So I think that's what makes this car special. Every time I need to go somewhere, I'm excited about getting up, getting my keys, getting in the car, starting it up, and heading out on the drive. This car draws you in, and it lets you have a great experience, an engaging, fun experience that uh, so few other cars can, especially in this in this uh, price bracket. So for that reason, it's on my top five list as number four. Let's go for a drive. So number five is also kind of a funny one. I. I uh, not necessarily fact about the car, but it's just a, a, a whole package. It's what the car is and what it does for the driver. It's that it's everything you need and nothing more. So there's a lot of cars selling features and a lot of tech and a lot of this and that, but how often do you really use a lot of those things and a lot of that equipment and everything else? This car is pretty basic, especially in today's standards, but it's, it, it's everything you need and nothing more. I mean, it fits all your stuff. It's comfortable to sit in. I've driven this car across the country without a single achy back, without a problem at all, reliable, it's fun to drive, it's fast enough, it makes a great sound, and all those things come together that make it everything you need and nothing more. All right, so that's my top five list. It's a little bit weird. It's not just like certain things about the car that I really like, but kind of the way it makes you feel emotionally, the way it is to drive as a whole package. And for all those reasons, uh, I put together that little basic top five list. Um, hopefully they make sense. Uh, they certainly make sense if you own this car or own a better car maybe, but uh, this is what I got and this is what makes my Cayman special to me. So I'm gonna go for a drive and uh, remember why I said all those five things. Let's go. Oh. 
Yes. <laughs>